my loves welcome back to another video today we are going to be doing chipotle it is going to be a quick and easy video because i don't have my lighting or my stand right now i left it at my mom's house yesterday so i just you know i'm just bumming it right now i just want to get a video out and um today i have a topic that i want to talk about um that i think is a good one um, i think you guys will appreciate it especially the new mommy out there so let's dig in i didn't even like set up anything i'm just gonna cut it out okay i'm just gonna do like that okay let me put it more over here i got a chicken burrito and today we are going to be doing a grapefruit sparkling Hope you guys' weekend is going good already. Um, we do not have any plans. Just gonna work on the, oh, just gonna work on the backyard. Um, add some more stuff back there. So that should be fun. Mm. It's been a while since I had Chipotle, so I said, why not? Dang, I feel like the burrito, the burritos got smaller. First bite. Mm -mm -mm. That's definitely gonna break up. Mm. Get a thumb, thumbnail in real quick. All right, guys. Today, I wanted to talk about um, how to keep the romance going after you've had a baby. Um, Especially new mommies, like we're just like so, um, we're so like, you know, all about the baby. We, you know, we want to just be there for the, for the baby for whatever. Like we just kind of like lose ourselves, you know? And, um, and if you lose yourself, then you start losing your partner too. You know, your partner and men, you know, they, they want to, um, you know, they, they think that, like, it's going to stay. The love is going to stay. And and it is, the love is still there. And I, me, I'm talking about intimacy. intimacy. Um, it's still going to be the same after a baby. And, you know, I don't think, I don't think it is. Um, it's not our, you know, first priority anymore. You know, um, you want to make sure the baby's, like, put to sleep. Is he okay? You know, you, know, you don't want them, him or her, the baby, um, interrupting you guys and then you feel like you're you know you have to get up and go and in the middle of it so I'm gonna give you guys some tips on how to stay intimate and still you know give your partner that love after a baby because like I said we just spend most of our times babying the baby and and you know and being a mommy and you know we still need to be the woman that they fell in love with so Me, after I had Cyrus, first off I had a C-section, so this is going to be like, you know, my experience. After I had Cyrus, it was a C-section. Um, obviously, I was hurting, I was in pain, I was sore. And still to this day, I get back, um, 
I have the epidural so I get like some back pain. And, um, you know, I'm not always in the mood. I'm tired. I've been up with him all night and, you know, just, you're just not in the mood. So, Tommy never said, mentioned anything to me about it. He never, you know, complained or anything. This is a busted up burrito. Don't worry about it, y'all. Okay, so. Anyways, I really started, it really started like in January where I was just like, you know what? I need to get my groove back. Um. We did like the 30 day cleanse. I did a seven days of um, being vegan. We, I cut out like um, dairy and stuff to get my weight, get that little baby weight off. So I lost 16 pounds, super excited. I was feeling good. I started ordering all kind of um, cute little outfits, Victoria's Secret, Fashion Nova. And, um, you know, feeling, I was feeling good, you know? And I still, I still am feeling good because the 16 pounds is still down, but I, I do want to drop another like 20 pounds if I could. Anyways, that 16 pounds made me feel, you know, real good. So ladies, I'm not trying to run to the gym, but if you go walking once a day, like you like let out endorphins and hormones so or go shopping or go take the baby to the park walk him her him or her to the park i promise you when you come back you're gonna have more energy you're gonna feel more energized you're gonna want um to get dressed and do your makeup and look cute um so then that's what i did i would go to the gym look cute order myself because i knew i was going to be dropping some weight um and Okay, so start ordering sexy, cute stuff, right? Um, you don't even have to drop any weight if you don't want to because I'm not about to be mommy shaming y'all, but um, add some like activity to your, to your day. Um, if you go to work, that's perfect. I'm, I'm sure you, or if you work at a desk um, before you go to work, you know, go take a walk. Anyway, so yeah, tip number one, get up, get active again. Um, if you want to drop some weight, drop some weight, so, you know, order some new cute little outfits for you to feel good in because I know my first three months I was only ordering loungewear for the house, what to wear around the house or wearing my pajamas. I had to get out of that by January. Tip number two. Um, go out on, go out on, um, more dates. Just you and him. Um, leave the babies with someone you feel comfortable with. Me, I leave them with my parents. Um. I would say for you to surprise him and do it, you know, um, set it up real nice. Or even if you want to drop the baby off and you can, um, set the house up with candles and music and, and um, you know, like you take initiative. I mean, I know it's a man that should be doing it, but you know, you're trying to get, you, you're trying to feel good again, baby. Let's get you out there then. Let's get you, let's get you with your back with your man. So I would, um, okay, so Tommy, I would leave the baby with my parents and then I would come home and um, have flat rose petals. Y'all, it's a tore up burrito. I'm gonna still eat it, but. Okay, so. Okay, I'll have rose petals. I'll take a bath. This is all while he's at work. I'll get prepared during the day. Um, grab a bottle of champagne. Um,. And have like a date night. That's what I would do. 
I mean, lately we've been going more on dates. Actually, we went to like a comedy club. We've been, and that's another thing. You got to tell your man that you want to get out or that you want to have a date night or you want to have alone time. Like, you know what I mean? Don't keep that in because, you know. Right after you have that baby, you know, they're not about to be making you do all this stuff, go out and stuff. You know, they don't know what you want. So tell them. If you just want to have like an alone night and me, I just left Cyrus alone for the first time, like overnight with my parents and he's six months. So, you know, drop him off for a few hours or if you want, if you feel comfortable with that person, take over for the night and have an in-home date night if you're like on, you know, if you're, your expenses, you know, you don't have a lot of expenses, just have a date night at home. That's cheap, you know, cheap and convenient and it's your alone time with them. What's another one getting back in the flame? Another thing, mommies. Get back out there. Um, you know how they say, um, being away makes the heart grow fonder. Get out there with your girlfriends. Have one girls night out the month, you know, where you're just out, you're dressed up, and then guess what? He'll be looking at you, you're gonna be walking out that door, and he's gonna be like, I can't wait till she comes back. So try that. Um, I've done that a few times, gone out with my girlfriends, and then come home, and I'm a little tipsy, and then things are popping off. Um. What else? Sorry, y'all. This is like a unorganized video. Like I said, I'm trying to get some some more out there. So, mm. I we just do tacos too. I don't know why I was craving chipotle. Well. Okay, ladies, so yeah. Do what you do. Get a little active. Order some stuff online. And do a date night at home or go on a date night with your man. Get out with your girlfriends at least once a month so he can miss you a little bit and you know what it gives him time with the babies with the baby too you know what i mean some alone time daddy alone time with the baby tommy loves it when i go out not all the time but He loves it when I get out with the girls, you know, come home. And he's with Cyrus and he misses me. Um, I'm going to have a video of Cyrus out. A six month update. I might just do that next when he wakes up. I couldn't do it. Um. Or I couldn't do it sooner because he he got his shots and y'all his first set of shots he he got a little temperature his second round of shots he did great he did not he barely cried anyways I'll tell y'all more about the video but I literally have today to get him he's like finally back to himself today so I think I can make a video um, and he'll be still especially after this long nap that he's taking.
Mm. You can never go wrong with Chipotle. I mean, this is a hot ass mess, but it still tastes good. Mommy, leave down below. What were you craving when you were pregnant? Um, me, I was craving like a lot of uh, seafood, um, a lot of crab legs and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was craving crab legs and ice cream, a lot of ice cream, a lot of sweets. Which I'm surprised because I'm not a sweets person. So I haven't been having sweets lately. What I did tear up the other night though was some um Girl Scout cookies. Hmm. I hope you guys are eating with me. I'm so excited. I got a shout out from Steph and Tosh. They are a part of the mukbang community. Super cool couple. Inspiring. Um I mean, they work hard, they post videos every day, and they, um, have grown their channel so tremendously, and that's real cool. Um, you can tell they work hard, because getting a video out, y'all, every day is a lot of work. Like, this editing process is a lot of work. So shout out to them for shouting me out. I'll leave the video so you guys can check it out. I was so excited. Saint Jizzon. I'm, I'm way. Hey Carmen. Is there she knew about love? You guys know fine. Oh, thank you. Hi Carmen. Thank you. Really trying to do this YouTube thing, so gotta get it out there. You know. Um Tips to any like YouTubers? Not that I, I'm a new I'm a new YouTuber, so get out there, follow people, support them. And they, they just might support you right back. Yeah, so this weekend we're gonna be working on our backyard. Um, last night, Tommy and I had like a romantic night. Um, I put to, I put Cyrus to bed early. Uh, I gave him a real nice bath and put him. It still wasn't early. He was still up at nine nine thirty, fussing around. But when I really got him down. I got him down, he was knocked out. So that was cool. And then me and Tommy got to watch movies and catch up on our shows. 
Mm. That was a baby burrito. Like that was the smallest I've ever seen to put these burritos. Yeah, so we're gonna do that. Um I'll probably post again on Saturday. Saturday or Sunday for sure. So tomorrow we have a lot to do. That backyard's gonna take all day. Even though it's a small backyard, but we'll have to go pick up some rocks and and it's all the way in Henderson, if you live in Vegas, you know. Um, and I'm in Providence, like um, closer to Summerlin area. Mm -mm -mm. I wanna say thank you for the love that you showed um, my brother the other day, he was on the last video, I'll have it linked down. Um, he was really shy, y'all. <clears throat> I had just woken him up. Because I wanna have more guests on my channel. Um, yeah, so he was like, can we do a redo? So we might do another video coming up. Um, you guys all know how, how my brother is that, that know us and our family. He's real shy. Um, so. And he's like the quiet one. I was always the talker. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. The video was kind of funny towards the end because I knew he was not in the mood. <laughs> But it's okay. We'll do another one. Mm. And that was good, y'all. That hit the spot. We're gonna go for a walk. It's so beautiful out today. Um. And I'm gonna make my video, my six month, my Cyrus' six month update. I know you guys always see photos of him and you guys show him so much love. I'm so thankful. Um, so I know you guys are wondering about him. So I like to keep him in the, in the loop of things. Okay. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put everything. Um, I have some other ideas of challenges I'm gonna do. Probably like an all full week of no meat uh, mukbangs. I just gotta put like an, a menu together. Now I will be cooking. <clears throat> or ordering, I can order stuff nowadays. So yeah, I'm gonna look into that. I do have a really good fatal attraction story. I didn't wanna do it this video because like I said, this is like a quick upload. Literally, this is like a, I, I, I don't even know what I have holding up my camera. <laughs> this is like a more homey video. But yeah, so I'll get that up. Um, just waiting for Cyrus to wake up now. I am full. It is three o'clock, so this should hold me over till dinner time. Chicken soup, I think I'm making um, something light. 
I love a good chicken soup. Mm, 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 mm. And that Instapot is a miracle worker, y'all. If we don't have one, invest in one. You literally throw everything in there and it makes um your meal. So, and I'm trying to look up a good air fryer. If you guys know one, a good one, let me know. I'm pretty sure they're all good, but an affordable one. Because we don't really fry much things, so. I think it's good. All right, you guys. Please like, please subscribe. Please leave comments. Um, share with your friends and family. I love you guys. Thank you for the support. And I will see you guys in the next video.